Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and today I'll be taking a look at the Armor's Stealth Extreme R Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the iPhone 5. This will run you about $40 from Armors.com so it's not the cheapest screen shield around but the results that you get are pretty good. And I would like to thank Armors for sending this over to me for review. So this is a tempered glass screen protector with a hardness rating of 9H. So Basically, that means that this screen protector is really tough. Um, so more on that in a little while, but inside of the packaging, you get another package, and inside of there, it gives you some of your installation instructions. It's pretty much just like installing any other screen protector out there. You just peel one side off, align it with your phone after cleaning your display really well, and you just let it go. So you do get an Armors branded microfiber cloth, as you can see here. And of course you do get the screen shield itself, so taking that out, you can see that it is a bit thick, so your home button will feel a bit recessed once you have this on your device. Um, that's really what makes this really protective for your displays, the thickness. Now in the lower right, there's actually an Armors logo embedded into the screen shield itself, and I'll show you this more after I get it installed. Um, so here I'm doing the installation, of course I cleaned my screen already and all that, so I'm not going to really talk about that. But in regards to the logo, I asked Armors about this and they said that um, they wanted some way for people to know that you're using an Armors product. So they experimented with a couple of different things and this is what they are currently uh, using, and that is to put their logo in the bottom right corner. And, I mean... If, if you see that, you'll probably just be really disappointed by this and just start talking trash about armors and stuff. But honestly, it's not too bad. I'll show you it up close in a little while. Now, once you put the screen protector down on your screen, you can see it sort of adhering itself onto your display, and you can just see the air sort of pushing out. But if you have any air bubbles, you need to make sure that you use something like a credit card or something like that, and to really use a lot of force to push the air out and this is what it looks like afterwards I was able to get it aligned pretty well and the results look fantastic and uh, it just looks really good the alignment is pretty much your of or excuse me the screen seal pretty much fits your entire display so almost all of your glass is being protected with another piece of glass so there's the armors logo you can easily see it now and now you can't not as easily at least. So under certain lighting conditions you can easily see it. So for example here it's it's a little more brighter, the background that is, so it's not as easy to see and it honestly isn't too bad. So after using the screen protector for a while I can say that this is a great screen protector. Now in, in terms of display clarity it's perfectly fine. It's pretty much like any HD screen protector out there. It's almost like you don't have anything on at all. I did mention that the home button is a bit recessed, as you can see here, so it does feel a little bit awkward to press if you're used to using no screen shield at all or a thinner screen shield. Um, the glass around the home button, it's a little bit curved, so it's not sharp around the edges, if you know what I mean. Um, there's another look at the Armors logo. Um, like I said, from certain angles, it's a little bit easier to see than others, but ultimately, I mean, I got used to it very quickly. I, I didn't really have any problems with it. Uh, except at the beginning, but I did get used to it, and it really didn't really, it just didn't really get in, in the way of anything, so um, it would be nice if they didn't do that at all. I do understand why they're in, interested in doing this, but I just don't think it's necessary. I mean, if, if they want people next to you to see the logo, it's probably going to be pretty hard for them to see that anyway, so if they want people to know that this is an Armors product, then I would just assume that somebody would ask them, hey, what type of screen protector are you using? So I just don't see exactly the real reason for having this logo there. Forgot to mention this earlier, but around the edges of the entire screen shield, it's just ever so slightly curved, so it doesn't feel as, it doesn't feel as sharp around those edges, and this also helps for certain types of cases that you might install onto your device. In terms of durability and scratch protection, this thing, I, I gave it the your usual key test, trying to scratch the screen with keys, and it didn't leave any type of scratch on it whatsoever. 
So the 9H hardness rating really comes through and this screen protector will not give you any scratches. But um, in terms of fingerprints, it doesn't protect against those pretty much at all. So if you have oily fingers or anything like that, you will notice a fair amount of fingerprints on your screen protector and you'll probably want to clean it off every once in a while. But overall, this is a pretty good screen protector. I'd say that the only con I have about this is in, is in regards to the Armors logo in the lower right. It just doesn't seem necessary. Um, if, if somebody chose not to buy this screen protector, I'd have to say that it's just because of that. So ultimately, I would just have to remove it. So that's it with this video. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with this video, so thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you all soon.